everyone, welcome to Joe's Craft Cauldron, my channel for crafting, collecting and Harry Potter. Today's video is a little bit of a mini introduction to what is coming next, um, which is an unboxing of uh, 60 Lego minifigures from Disney. So um, these came out on the 1st of May. Um, so on the morning of the 1st of May, I found out my local Argos because I know they carry these and I arranged to be able to put by an entire box load. So I have a full box of 60 minifigures. So there are 18 to collect, not going flat now. Um, there are 18 of these to collect. Obviously 60 is slightly more than 18, um, but this will be able to hopefully identify that they should all be in this box somewhere and it should identify the ratios of which ones are the rarest. Um, I'm suspecting that these two which are the um, black and white vintage Mickey and Minnie Mouse are going to be the two rarest so I suspect that we'll only have one of one of them in the box and two of the other and then there'll be a scattering across um, the rest of them with probably one is going to be a clear winner for the most common um, one to appear in these boxes um, but we will see I'm I'm optimistic that I will get all of them in this I'm a little bit worried if I don't um, but anyway um, so what I'm going to be doing after this is um, similar to if anyone's seen my red nose unboxing video um, I will open I'm probably gonna do them in blocks of five um, minifigures um, and so I'll open the first one of each five on camera and then the other four I will open off camera um, just because I'm still using um, a free editing program um, to edit my videos and so you can't speed them up so it's going to be a bit boring for you lot um, if you're watching me opening 60 bags individually um, yeah it's not going to be fun um, so anyway, uh, that is what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. Um, just on a little bit more of a kind of serious note, please do not message me um, either in the comments or on Instagram asking for me to send you any of these duplicates um, because I, I have bought these myself. Um, and so my plan is that any duplicates that I do get in here, I'm going to offer out to my friends who are also wanting to collect them. Um, and then I will probably sell any that I have left um, on eBay. Um, so as I say, this I have bought this box out of my own money. I haven't been gifted it or anything, which I know some YouTubers um, do get sort of these boxes and things like that gifted to them. I don't. So this is my own money going on this box so i will be selling them on probably at sort of value because i don't want to make any sort of profit from this um so i will just be selling them on um to friends and what have you for the price i've basically paid for each of them um but with the luxury that you get to know what one you're getting um but anyway serious note over so please do not message me asking to send you one um I would potentially be happy to kind of discuss um, sending you one if you wanted to pay three pounds towards it, um, but not um, for free, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, sorry to put a bit of a downer on that. Um, but yes, um, also if you are messaging me, it's probably only really gonna be people in, based in the UK that I would be able to send these to um, anyway just for ease purely because of postage and things like that um, so anyway that is all from me um, so thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoy what is coming and you enjoy seeing um, hopefully the full set coming out of this box um, and I will see you in my next video thank you bye so let's get going as i said um on the little intro um i'm gonna open the first one in blocks of five um, and then open the other four off of camera because i don't need to bore you with that um so let's get started we're gonna start this end so these are the individual um packets 
um, there so you can see basically most of the ones on there so we're looking that's just the Argos number there um, so we are looking for 18 of these minifigures so just for ease I'm gonna cut them so who are we gonna have first the one I really really want is um, Hercules so So the first one we have is one of the ducks. So this could be uh, Huey, it could be Louie, or it could be uh, Dewey. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Uh, what have we got? Oh, no, this goes on first. So we've got, oh, I can't undo it now. So we've got his little duck tail there. Get it the right way up and the right way round. Would help massively. There, and then we've got his head and his hat. These are quite cute. I know that one of my uh, favourite sort of animated films when I was growing up was um, actually I think it was called like oh Ducktales and the Genie of the Lamp or something. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it's meant to be a slingshot. Not sure why he's got two slingshots, but you know never can have too many slingshots so there we go so that is our first one so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the next four off camera so that I'm not boring you um, with those but that is number one so we've not too, done too badly from the first run although it does seem a little bit coincidental that so our first one was the blue duck. Number two was the red duck. With a little book. Um, number three was Anna. Um, but when I opened her packet, uh, her head went a little bit stray. So her head is now probably underneath the sofa. Um, so I haven't been able to put her hair or her cape on. Then I got Elsa. So I got Anna and Elsa one after the other. Um, and then I got Sally um, and again she came with a spare deadly nightshade plant but that has also gone flying somewhere as well so I'm going to be finding lots and lots of random um, Lego characters bits all over the place um, but just to show you um, here is the full collection so we've got vintage Mickey and Minnie we've got the three Duck Brothers, we've got Scrooge McDuck, we've got Chip and Dale, Anna and Elsa, um, Jafar and Jasmine, Hades and Hercules, Sally and Jack Skellington, and then we've got, uh, is it Edna from The Incredibles and Iceman? I'm not sure. Not 100% on those two because I've never really watched The Incredibles um, that much. Um, but yeah, so they are all the ones you can get. So first five, not too bad, no duplicates yet. Um, and based on the kind of pattern that we've got on these ones, um, I wonder if uh, the next one that I open is gonna be uh, Jack Skellington maybe to continue our run. So just gonna move those all out the way. Oh, nearly lost Anna's hair. I'm going to have no Anna left by the end of this. Oh, just taking Elsa out with Sally. Oh, we're doing well. So, packet number six. Five down, 55 to go. <laughs> right, let's try not to lose any of these. Okay, so it isn't Jack Skellington, so it's not following the pattern, um, but this is uh, Edna. So because she's a smaller character, she's got, are they smaller legs? Yeah, they are the smaller legs. So then they've got her head, and so because she's got her big glasses, what they've actually done is they've put her big glasses, they've attached it to her hair. That wonky there we go so she comes with some sort of list 
there. And she comes with two cups of tea and a spare cup of tea as well, because obviously I think they try and put in spares of each thing. So I'm just going to leave that there so I don't lose it. So there we go. That's the first one is Edna and I'll be back with the next four. So I finished the next five and our pairs are continuing. So um, Jack Skellington actually came out next. Um, so he comes with a little present and in the present are these little snowflakes in there. Let me put the lid on so I don't lose them or not because it won't fit. Um, then we have Hercules, so yay, the one I wanted, I have got him and it wasn't too far in. We've still had no duplicates, which is pretty good going. And then we had a pairing of, we've got Jafar, um, who I nearly lost his head as well. So we're not having much luck with their heads. Um, and then Jasmine. Um, so 10 in, no duplicates so far. That could end quite soon. <laughs> so let's see what we've got for number six, not six, 11. Going back in time now. Is that, have I jinxed myself? I haven't. We now have Hades, so we've got the pair to go with Hercules. So we've got, I'm not entirely sure which way around his body's bottoms are meant to go. So we'll go with that. His hair comes pre-attached because um, they probably thought it was easier because that is not coming off. Get his hand the right way around. I think these are spare props, but you know, I'm gonna use them both. <laughs> I couldn't use both of Hercules' uh, swords though because uh, he only has two hands and he had to be wearing his shield. Oh, can't get that in his hand. Uh, not working. There we go. So, I'm not sure what that uh, face is. I think that's his two thumbs way, way up thing. Anyway. And there we are. Right, so I'm gonna. He's not going on his stand. How does he attach to his stand? There we go. Got him. There we go. So, he is number 11, still not a duplicate, and I'm going to open the next four. So, in this go, we did get our first duplicate, so obviously we started with Hades, I then got another Hades two later, um, and then I got, I got both Chip and Dale, one after the other, um, but obviously we've got duplicates of this one. So I've got two duplicates. Um, so running total at the moment, I have 10, 11, 12, 13 of the 18. So I only got five to go, but quite a few packets to go. So let's get into the next one. Is this gonna be another duplicate or is this gonna be a unique? Uh, I think this is yeah, it's another new one. So we've got Scrooge McDuck. Got lots of bits in here. So he's got his uh, tail as well. Can't quite decide which side I should have my hands. <laughs> That's the least awkward way for me to build these things. And then his hat goes on that um, and then he's got two little coins to hold he's also he's like Hercules that he's got too many props I can't get the coin in his hand sorry taking him off screen because I can't get that in there we go So he's got a coin and a cane. So after this one, oh, I can't get his feet on the stand. Pick up. So after that one, we've now only got four 
um, non duplicates to go. Whereas we've got 44 packets to go. So odds are looking pretty good right now. <laughs> so I will be back with the next ones. So in that last batch, we did get two more duplicates. So after we got uh, Scrooge McDuck as the first one, we got another Chip or Dale. I can I never know which way around they come. So he's a duplicate. We got another Scrooge. So obviously he is a duplicate. Um, we got a new one. So I remember while I was building him, he's not called Iceman. Isn't he called Frozone? I think Frozone. We're going to go with Frozone. And then... We got the last of our trio of little ducks. So no surprises. Um, I've only got two left to get. And those two are our two rare vintage ones. So from now on in, the next 40 are going to pretty much probably be duplicates, except for maybe three of them. So I think the likelihood is that Mickey is probably going to be your rarest, so there'll only be one of him in this box maybe. And Minnie will be your second rarest, so there'll probably maybe be two of her, I would have thought. So in these next 40, we're probably only going to have three of the combination of those two, I suspect. Um, I'm purely basing that on the fact that when it was the Harry Potter Lego ones, um, that was exactly the case. Basically, it was that... Grindelwald you had in there um, once and um, what's his name? Credence, that's the one. Uh, Credence appeared in there twice. So, and then the rest kind of had a varied level of common and uncommonness. So this one, unless it's a vintage, is probably going to be a duplicate it is a duplicate it is another one of the little ducks so what I'm now going to probably do is I will show you the five minifigures at the end of each run just to speed it up um, rather than showing you um, me opening the first one I'll just show you uh, the five together um, so then that should mean it goes a little bit quicker. Um, I may even, in the edit, um, get rid of these ones completely and just show you the one where I get the vintage Mickey and Minnie, hopefully. Um, so I will be back with the five shortly. So here we have our next five batch of uh, duplicates. So we didn't get any of the vintage ones. Um, but again, they seem to come in sort of pairings. So we got our little blue duck followed by our red duck and obviously we got them after the green duck and then we got Anna now this time with a head so I didn't lose the head this time so she's complete followed by Elsa and then we got Sally so I wonder if we're gonna get uh, Jack Skellington next um, I'm gonna rearrange this uh, surface a little bit because I cannot really make anything in this space that I've got left on my coffee table because it ends here um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a rejig um, and I'll be back with the next five. Sadly, another batch of duplicates, no vintage uh, Mickey or Minnie. So we've got Edna, we've got Jack Skellington again. I got really excited when I saw the black of his outfit thinking he was one of the vintage ones, but sadly not. Um, another Hercules, another Frozone and another Jafar. So let's see what the next five hold. So here we have our next five. We got uh, another Jasmine, two Hades, and two Chip or Dale, but the same one. It's both the light one. And I'm noticing patterns in all of these. So we got Blue Duck, Red Duck, Anna, Elsa, Sally, Edna, Jack Skeleton, and Hercules. All the first lot, and then another repeat down here. And then in this lot, we've got a row of these ones and I got a row of those ones before. So I don't know if there is, that's just a complete coincidence or there just seems to be a bit of a pattern. And these ones are also in the same lineup as the lineup from there in order of that pattern. Who knows? Let's see with the next five. 
So I've started recording again because in there I can see that I've got Vintage Mini. I think it's Vintage Mini because I think she's the one that comes with this little disc thing. Yes, it is, I believe, Vintage Mini. So she's got a little skirt. Top and head. I can't get it on and then she's got a little hat sailor's hat there they actually have given a spare hat and then I'm not sure what this is meant to be it's meant to be like a life preserver maybe who knows um, but there we go so we have our vintage Mickey Mickey? Mini so hopefully There'll be another one of her in here, um, but if not, at least Mickey will be somewhere. We must find Mickey. Anyway, I'm going to get to the end of this five and then I'll be back. And as pure luck would have it, the very next one I've opened is Vintage Mickey. <laughs> so, I'm tw uh, 40, no, 37 packets in, I think. So 37 packets in, and I have the entire set, which is amazing. So I've got all 18 figures. So let's pop Mickey together. Like so. What way out does that go? I can't believe that these two came out one after the other. Uh, I'm not sure how, what does that attach to? Does that fit in his hand? Oh, he's gonna have to hold the uh, wheel there. That'll do. Sorry if some of that was off camera. Um, so there we have Vintage Mickey, so we've got a Vintage Mini and Vintage Mickey um, and I've still got uh, three of this five to go. So from now on in they are all going to be um, duplicates, um, including these two. Um, but let's now see how many of each we end up with and what the sort of ratios are amongst all of them. So I'll be back. So literally straight after getting my first lot of vintage Minnie and Mickey, I got another lot. So I got another one of Mickey, uh, Minnie um, and then another Mickey. But what I've done this time is I've swapped them up so that Minnie is now driving the ship and Mickey can be the one with the life preserver because he clearly needs it. And then the last one we got was another Frozone. So, so far we've got two Mickey, two Minnie, so that's pretty good. Um, We've got 20 left to go, um, so let's see if we get any more Mickey and Minnie or if that was it. But really odd that they were all together in a row, <laughs> in exactly the same order. So let's see what the next uh, five bring. So in the next five we got um, an Anna, an Elsa again together, then another Anna and Elsa together. <laughs> And then finally we got a Sally, and so Sally appeared after Anna and Elsa um, earlier on, twice as well. So, a bit of a coincidence, let's see what the next five are. I'm predicting that they are going to be Edna, Jack Skellington, Hercules, and a combination of either Jafar and Frozone, or Jafar and Chip or Dale. So, pretty much spot on that we got another Edna, we got... Jack Skellington, we got Hercules, Jafar, a bit dark, and Jasmine. So now the next five, I'm going to predict we're going to get a couple of Hades and some Chips and Dales. <laughs> so their ratios aren't looking that bad because I've got, so I've got another Chip or Dale. <laughs> I will never work out which one he is. Um, 
suddenly I've got some more Scrooge McDucks, so we haven't had them in a while. So we've got two Scrooge McDucks, two of Chippendale, and then I got another vintage mini. So I'm wondering if the next five is going to have at least one vintage Mickey in it, or possibly another Mickey and mini, two Mickeys, a mini, and just a random one. So let's see in the final five. We are finally there. Five to go. Thank God. <laughs> so my battery died, so it's now plugged in, um, but it did give me a chance to sort them all out and count up how many of each one there were. So first, but first of all, um, as I kind of suspected, in the last batch of five, we had another two Mickeys. We had another Minnie and we had Frozone and then one of the little ducks so I'm gonna pop them in to the box where they belong because I'm weird I've put them in basically order of um, how they appear on the sheet oh I'm throwing Mickey around Oh, the batch of Mickeys don't fit. We're just going to shove them in wherever they move, do go. So, let me try and pull this into view. So, in terms of numbers, actually, whereas I thought the vintage Mickey and Minis were going to be the least common, it actually turned out to be the little ducks. So you've got two of the red, two of the blue, and two of the green. So they are the rarest with only two of each of those. Then you've got four Mickeys and Minis, four Scrooge McDucks, um, four Chips, four Dales, four Elsa, four Anna. Then you've got three Jafar, three Jasmine, four Hades, only three Hercules, so they don't sort of match up. But then you've got three Sallys, three Jacks, three Ednas, and then you've got four Frozones. So... All in all, except for the little ducks, it's a pretty even spread of minifigures in a box. So you're kind of, bar Edna, Jack, Sally, Hercules, Jafar, Jasmine and the boys, you've got a pretty even chance of getting them. Um, which is pretty good. I initially, in the picture, I wasn't a particular fan of these ones, but I actually quite like those um, now that I've got them. Um, so yes, so that is all of them. So um, in comparison to the Harry Potter minifigures, which I mentioned before, I think the ratio of minifigures in those boxes was a lot more varied. So I think the most common one from memory was like Draco, and the least common was obviously Grindelwald and Credence. But maybe because this is Disney, they've made it more sort of available across all of them um, and tried not to make it quite so hard to get all of them. Um, I don't know. This may have just been my box um, that I just happened to have it. Lucky that I got a nice spread. Um, or it could be all the boxes. It did seem quite weird though that there seemed to be a lot of runs of characters when I was working back in order. Obviously this is a box that's been untouched. It has literally gone from Lego to Argos where I collected it. So it's not been touched at all. So these were exactly the order they were in when I got it. So it likely is that they are just sort of automatically come down a chute and get put into that order, which is why there were obviously um, all of those patterns to them. And so now, I have a lot of duplicates to get rid of. So, um, as I said, I think in my intro video, I'm going to be talking to friends and seeing if they want any, um, and then the remainder will be probably going up um, on eBay. Um, so, yes, that is my Lego minifigure unboxing. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next unboxing. Thanks, as always, for watching. See you soon. Bye.